Once the peptide bond is formed, there will be psi and phi. The psi is a bond between alpha carbon and the carbonyl carbon which is involved in a peptide bond formation, while psi is a bond between alpha carbon and the nitrogen of amino group which participated in a peptide bond formation. As we have discussed earlier that the peptide bond have a double bond like character. Due to this double bond like character, both phi and the psi have a limited degree of rotation. And what does it mean by the limited degree of rotation? The limited degree of rotation means that the phi and the psi cannot rotate up to 180 degree. Now there is a one very important question here. That why the peptide bond have a double bond like character? Let's try to understand this phenomena. If you look at, at the peptide bond as it's shown in a diagram, you can see that there is a two lone pairs on an oxygen, while there is a one lone pair on the nitrogen. Because of these lone pairs, there may be resonance of a double bond. And the double bond between carbon and the oxygen may shift between carbon and the nitrogen. As you can see in the diagram, and similarly, it can resonate it back. Therefore, there may be a double bond like character in a peptide bond. Hopefully, this phenomena will be clear to you now. If we plot the phi and the psi of all naturally occurring protein on a plot, then this resulting plot will be known as the Ramachandran plot, as you can see here in front of you. In this Ramachandran plot, in all naturally occurring alpha helixes, the phi and the psi will be in range of minus 45 degree to minus 55 degree. And in all naturally occurring beta sheet, the phi and the psi will be in range of minus 150 to plus 150. The understanding of this Ramachandran plot is very important because we have to use this Ramachandran plot in validation of the predicted three-dimensional structures of the protein.